everybody to PSR Podcast Season Two, Episode Eight. Um, my name is Etika. I'm one of your hosts, joined by other regular hosts, um, Iron. Hello. And Jordan. Hello. All right. So, um, bit of a quiet month this month. Uh, we don't have a ton of notable stuff outside of the big release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, the remakes of generation four diamond and pearl finally came out this month um we're gonna touch on them a little bit this month but primarily we'll probably focus on those runs next month uh just let the game mature a little bit um so that way we're not talking about like all of the the day one routes and things like that but um most important thing is as of monday of this week actually um the 29th the leaderboards are now open so if you go to speedrun.com Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, as you can see on the screen, um, you will have access to any percent glitch list and any percent. Uh, we'll definitely talk a little bit about the glitches there uh, because there are quite a lot and a bit of a story involved there. Um, leaderboards have also been voted on to split versions. So we have Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond in their own uh, tabs for glitch list. Any percent is combined because it doesn't really matter. Um, and you'll also notice that we have subcategories for turbo and no turbo, which is uh, another thing that was voted on recently. Um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah. And then we also have category extensions, just like any other Pokemon games. Um, so if you go to the category extensions, you can find some right now it's, it's pretty minimal. Um, there's like a crash, like crash the game kind of run, uh, which is sort of a meme. And then the reverse badge order which is sort of a, a glitched theory run i think at the moment that's being worked on uh one of the downsides to the glitches um is although there are a lot a lot of them have already been patched out so we're sort of in a bit of a scramble to figure out exactly how to handle the leaderboards for that um but for the time being you can still if you haven't updated the game you can keep doing runs on the release version 1.1.1 um, and still have access to all the glitches that made that run really cool. Alright, sorry. People just said Mike mute is online and I don't know, <laughs> but it should be fine. <laughs> sorry, my, sorry, just on the, on the tech thing, people making me panic. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but Iron, if you want to take this run away. Yeah, so for the Gen 1 to 3 side of things, we have one notable run to point out this month, and that is Ananon's uh, emulator world record for Fire Red Leaf Green Round 2. 327.36. Uh, how does that compare to... I think that is faster than the console time, if I recall correctly. Um, but as we know, there are some slight differences between emulator and console. That's why we separated them. But nevertheless, very solid time. Um... We are highlighting here, we always like to highlight something that didn't go well. Uh, this is a Koga death, a pretty common theme um, in these runs. Uh, luckily, we can play a little bit safer with round two. You can, typically, runners will bring revives, or hop revives for a lot of these fights, uh, which tend to end runs in any percent. So we had, he had a Koga death here, but other than that, and some breakouts, a pretty solid run overall. Um, not too uh, not too much to, uh, to point out than... Uh, uh, than that, um, and yeah, it's uh, it is significantly faster than console, as Wave Porter points out. That's what I intended to say. Um, yeah, so congrats to on and on on this one. Um, yeah, it's, and um... uh, there's going to be, and as a, it's a very good point in chat as well. Kurt mentioned there's lar much larger discrepancy because there are differences in loads uh, going in and out of buildings, for example. There's a lot more of that happening in the longer round two run. So, very good point there. Yeah, in terms of comparing the different world records, it's around a minute 20 uh, for the emulator being quicker. So like, for guys, a 328.55. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's still both very, like, this is definitely a very good run if it was on console, I assume. But I was, you know, happen to, like, do you happen to know what it is for just any percent? The difference between emulator and console? Well, the difference, or... it's, it's a. It's a, it's less than a minute, I think, but 
Alright, so... In terms, of the t in terms of the difference, but... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, still a very solid time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely very Getting solid below time. sub 330 in, in this is extremely good. There's yeah, a lot of it, RNG involved here. It, it would be second, even if, if you're, like, done on console, I assume. It would be second on the board. Looking at, like, Shiryu's second on console leaderboard with a 332. Yeah. So... I assume it. I assume it's not that much of a difference, unless I'm wrong. Chat, like people in chat can tell me. Yeah, we have on non mentioning twenty five seconds roughly yeah. for any percent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Pretty solid time uh, overall. Congrats again. So, uh, I think that's yeah. all we have for uh, for Gen. One to three, and also I believe we don't have much to talk about from gens four through six as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I was just gonna say, um, next on the docket is actually uh, already into the Switch realm. So, um, this is Etchy's Let's Go Pikachu second place. Um, so Etchy got a three oh one fifty four, two seconds away from Kerbis's um, three oh one fifty two. Um, but it is also worth noting that Echi now has two of the three fastest times across both games. So uh, he has a 30204 in Eevee and then a 30154 now in Pikachu. Um, this run was uh, pretty good overall, had a, a bit of a slow rival too, um, and Lorelei as well. Uh, the Starmie itself was decent. Um, I think it had pretty pretty good special attack, but sort of mediocre speed. Um, and yeah, the, the majority of the run, if any, if anybody knows, let's go, uh, you have to catch 50 Pokemon as you go. Um, he had way more catches than like standard and definitely more than any, uh, Kerbis's run had. So, uh, if you're trying to see like where he caught up and where he lost time and all that kind of stuff, uh, he was behind Kerbis's run for the most part during the, the catching section, but that's just sort of the nature of the run, uh, when you sort of front load your catches like that but um pretty good time he didn't really spend all that long on pikachu if i'm not mistaken um it was sort of like his way to kill time until bdsp came out so uh really cool to see to see this run um and it's, it's kind of funny he he has both the he got the ev record without getting a 301 and then he got a 301 in pika without getting the record so it's just it's a little bit funny to see that parallel it's also just the moments before he's about to split for champion when he realizes he's like two seconds behind. I don't, yeah. I don't remember who said it, but it was like I'm pretty sure like someone was just like, if you just because like the constant joke throughout the room was like use hydro pump on Agatha to avoid yeah. turnarounds. <laughs> just like if you use yeah. one hydro pump on Agatha, it'd be a world record. But yeah, it'd I mean, probably be fine. <laughs> yeah, but I mean like, I assume Edgy's very happy with the time. I also assume Edgy at some point will go back because he'll he'll want to beat he'll want to get the record. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I think for, for those who don't know, the Hydro Pump on Agatha thing is if you use a super effective move with high happiness, the your Pokemon turns around and that use takes up a few seconds. So uh, by using Hydro Pump, which is a neutral move on one of Agatha's pokes. Um, Albeit a, a neutral move that can miss, so if there's obviously some risk to that, um, he might have saved enough time to potentially tie Kerbis or maybe even beat him. So, but that's a risk that when you're on a time run like this, you're probably you're kind of weighing those options, and maybe not wasn't worth that worth that chance. On top yeah, of the fact weird. that Agatha can just go Agatha can just go wrong in any, many other ways. In that, other than yeah. That, so. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, it's a, it's about two seconds per turnaround, so it literally would have been probably a tie. Actually, looking at his timer, this was probably a really high 54, so, like, even if he had gone for the Hydro Pump and hit it, just, like, the slightest bit of mashing let up would have made it a second slower anyways, probably, so really close either way. Um, it could have been done, but probably would have had a different outcome if he did go for the Hydro Pumps, let's be honest. Hydro pumps are just not accurate. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true, true. 
yeah, that that sums up for like all the main series stuff. Like again, we'll we'll talk about probably like go over like the BSPs during the leaderboard roundup, just because. Yeah. I mean, the runs were changing hands constantly. I, I think even in the leaderboard roundup, the actual world record for any percent not on there. I don't know if it was like some uh, verified during the time or something like that, or if it was just like it's not been verified as of yet. But I think someone's got. I think like a Japanese run's got sub sixteen minutes. Is mad. But anyway, um, <laughs> moving on to the first of many PMD runs. Uh, and that, to be fair, one of many of uh, Halkyrie's runs because they pop up three times here. This one's for Explorers of Time, any percent, no one in the mail, English, DS slash 3DS. Because I guess there, there isn't any difference between them. Um, this is the first world record uh, for the month that, uh, that they broke. It's like the first time for holding the world record in the category in four years, which also just the fact that like running like being running for longer than four years which i know i say that with etiquette in the in the call right now who i, I how many years is it you've been doing runs etiquette um i'm currently in my ninth year so it's been over eight yeah that's a lot but it's just like this there uh, but yeah people have been doing runs for a long time and just still being at a level where you can yeah, world records. I believe like Explorers of Time is very competitive, like especially for Mystery Dungeon. So, so really impressive. Uh, lost a good bit of time in chapters ten and eleven, uh, compared to the world record. After uh, like a much better start compared to that world record, but just eventually like, kind of like losing a bit of time, gain, gaining a good chunk of time again, and then. Kind of like losing it over the last three chapters, but just keeping enough time to be able to finish the finish with the world record. So well done there for Halkyrie. Uh, that first run. Uh, going to take a bit of a detour to secure accounts. Explorers of Sky any percent wonder uh, wonder mail world record uh, in four hours forty three minutes and nine seconds. Um, according to them. Not a great first hour and a half because of memeing during this fight. Um, I can't tell you which what the specific bit is with the memeing, but I think it just didn't go too well. Uh, but it was just exceptionally strong after the fact. Uh, aside from missing a stun seed uh, against Dusknor, which is like one of the uh, okay, it's another one of the boss fights where I assume they missed throwing a stun seed, which would have as I have explained by the item stunned. Uh, the dust door made the fight a lot easier but still again very impressive uh, very very impressive indeed but back to Halkyrie with the what was actually the third world record but I like to put them in game order so uh, Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity 80% Wonder Mail English 3DS slash new 3DS world record uh, with 7 hours 30 minutes and 13 seconds a ridiculously long run. Just, I assume there's, well, I believe why like a lot of the earlier Mystery Dungeon games have some sort of RNG manip, at least with some of the categories, like Wonder Mail. So, just, this is like a lot longer, you got to rely on a lot more, I imagine. But again, just comparing with the world record, which is actually really helpful to be able to I mean, like what's been kind of going well, what's not gone as well. Uh, it started pretty close compared to the uh, compared to the world record, uh, the previous one, but then gradually like, pulled away to get like a good cushion of time save, of time difference even, uh, which made it for like a what was a seemingly weekend game. I don't know if it was very good for the previous world record, but my show again, just hold out and keep the world record uh, for the third one in. I think it was the third one in a week. Never mind just a month, but like within a week. So like, very, very good. And then last but not least for PMD, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Uh, any percent Wonder Mail, new 3DS slash uh, NTR world record with a 5.42.23. Uh, Much slower uh, for the start compared to the world record. 
like looking at the difference it's almost three minutes behind which is kind of been even more impressive to be able to like get back uh back ahead after like back ahead quickly after chapter 13 i believe it was uh after which old record starts to like just catch up and then at the end gets to the point where uh Halkiri just finishes with uh 20 second uh 26 seconds ahead of time so that's completed the second of the three world records for the month or for the week even so very well done and i think there's like there's like there was more pmd world records which we'll go over again in the leaderboard roundup but just like pmd popped off this month popped off quite like often every month to be fair but seems even more so compared to normal but then the last noted run is Pokemon Conquest 80% Passwords World Record. Uh, this is the first run that actually beats the non-password world record. So that's, which is kind of surprising in a way, but I assume it's probably more so, uh, I don't believe this is run as often. To be fair, I've never really heard of Conquest until I started the podcast. Uh, but anyway, uh, there was some exceptionally great luck. The only thing that seemingly went or was seemingly an issue, uh, according to speedrunner zero uh, 0218, was that the Daramaka did not evolve immediately after this fight. Uh, or the yeah, this fight, I believe it was. So, which is around like two thirds of the way into the run, and that cost like a couple of minutes. But other than that because it was like such exceptionally great luck and I'm assuming this is a very luck dependent run um, they do believe that the world record won't be beaten now I feel like every time that's mentioned that's kind of like a I, I don't know what the right term is but like uh, it's a jinx, it's gonna get beaten yeah jinx, yeah, a jinx that it's gonna <laughs> get beaten at some point but still though very very impressive run from the sounds of it so well done once again and that's that's it for the noted runs that is not BDSP. <laughs> so moving on to the marathon runs. That's a little, little peek into what's going to be talked about later. But anyway, um First one Speed Gaming Live 2021 RDA with Rumble, any percent no passwords, 4347. Um Again. Do you have anything to like either of you have anything to Chip in with the Pokemon Rumble. I did not watch this one. <laughs> I don't. I can't follow Pokemon Rumble. I don't know what's going on. It looks fun. But... <laughs> yeah. To be fair, like the movement actually seems quite cool. Just like kind of like like I uh, would just like squeezing through the gaps there. That just seemed pretty cool. And like I assume the expectations you're meant to fight everything, but now nah, just walk through easy. Uh, one of those, but I, I, I will say I did. I did not end up watching this run that's coming up, but I'm happy. I'm happy that this was a run. Pokemon Channel uh, single console, the 49 minute run by uh, Mushroom Soda. I I've never seen Pokemon Channel. He played, played, watched. I don't know, um, but I'm. Why is this like time skipping involved? Like moving the like moving the console date forward an hour. It's just surprising. I, I just I just have no yeah. idea about this run. I used to know more about it. Something like you have to play on consecutive days or something. Uh, which is why time skipping is the, I don't remember. It's very weird. It's it's definitely it's probably one of the most like non Pokemon pokemon side games if that makes sense yeah i get what like you it, 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 it attracts a lot of a lot of non-pokemon uh runners and stuff and it doesn't really follow any sort of formula it's always a good meme <laughs> fair <laughs> fair and yeah this was for fast first fall fest 2020 uh 2021 bit of a tongue twist of that then we've got Questing for Glory, uh, Hope and Healing 2, is Primal Pizza's uh, 
Red, any percent glitchless classic rune? Iron. <laughs> you know much about glitchless classic? I know how it, I know what it involved, but I never. Oh wait, who who did this one? Oh, Primal. I think I saw yeah. a bit of this actually. Um, I don't remember exactly what happened, but uh, it's a uh, it's pretty much anyone who doesn't know it's pretty much red glitchless, but except you're not allowed to do any of the sort of um, exploit um, type um, features which we can don't consider glitches, such as. Uh, using Polkadol to skip the Ghost Marowak, so he has to go to Sylphco to get the Sylph Scope. Not Sylphco, the Hideout. And then he also has to do RNG Manipulation, and that cannot do, uh, cannot get instant text as well. So it's kind of a more um, traditional way of playing Pokemon, I guess, um, without using any of these other these other tricks, um, but in a, in a speedrun uh, kind of fashion. So it's a pretty cool run. I've done a few of these a few years ago. Um, the roots changed a bit, I guess, since. But, but yeah, you're you kind say... of just taking what you're just take whatever Nidoran you get. I don't know if they, he resets. I'm sure for the marathon he just takes whatever. But for PV attempts, they probably do have some restrictions on on Nidoran stats. Could you say this is the classic way of playing it? Yeah, I think I could <laughs> say that. Very nice. <laughs> Sorry. I believe this is the way the Japanese glitch list uh, rule set is. So this is kind of like the English Barrett version of that. Uh, mm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Etiquette. Yeah, this this category was basically spawned when we... Because for the longest time, Japanese wasn't even like on speedrun.com or anything. Um, and so when we sort of brought the Japanese community into speedrun.com and everything, at the time, it sort of made sense for us to create an English category with the Japanese rule set and then create a Japanese category with the English rule set. So that way both sides could sort of do both runs. Um, it's definitely not the most popular category, but actually I think it's, it's picked up in popularity. I feel like over the last maybe year, year and a half, which is really cool to see. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, I red seems interesting. Just like the different ways, like, I don't know. So it's just like such a classic game. And there's just so many different ways that people have either broken it or speedrun it by not breaking it. Like it just has a lot of time, I guess. Yeah. Compared to like a lot of the games that I deal with. But it's still sticking with red. Um, red glitchless blindfold is for RNG a thorn shift, uh, by Shifty. Like a 248.47, which seems to have gone over estimate. But you're also playing with a blindfold, so I think that's like fully fair. Like things can go wrong. And it's hard enough to react even without a blindfold. Yeah, yeah Shift, I'm, if, I, if I recall correctly, he Shifty's practiced this a lot. He knows, he's done, he pretty much only does blindfolded, so he knows exactly where everything is. So something must have gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, but in terms of like knowing where things are on the map, he's he's pretty good with kind of bonking his way around. Yeah, I'll also add for RNG Thunder there was also Razor Flame Fun with Puzzle Challenge Easy to Intense, and that was a a one hundred eight forty six, which was like, I, I think that's like a pretty solid run for a marathon, especially for like Puzzle Challenge where. Depending on the game, if it wants to, it can just not let you finish a run in the marathon setting. And then there's also RDA with Rumble Weekend Edition. Uh, complete the game, any percent. And then Rumble, any percent, no passwords. With in a 1, uh, one hour 14, 43 and 44, 25 respectively. So, quite a lot of Pokemon there, RNG a thon, which. I mean, yeah, it's Pokemon. So much RNG. <laughs> it's the perfect marathon for it. And then, actually, some of these runs uh, for because this is for really, really long a thon. Um, I believe one of the runs is actually going on right now. But what's currently on screen? Mozzarella cheese with super mystery dungeon. Any percent no wonder mail that finished in six in like six hours, twenty minutes, twenty four seconds. Uh, there's also just finished before the podcast 
uh, treaty with a Poker Park 2 All Friends run, which finished in 6 hours, 20 minutes and 8 seconds. And assuming time is lined up and there's not been any uh, technical issues or anything, uh, Shifty should be doing Crystal Custom Starter Alakazam Blindfolded. There's no time. It's not, being it's not finished yet, I assume. But that should still be currently going on. So Yeah, on the dock it says 8.37 your time. Yeah. So, so that's probably about an hour from now. Uh, or, right? No, it should be 50 minutes into the run. An hour in. Yeah. Yeah. Hour, like pretty much an hour in, yeah. So, hopefully that's going well. And then the the last room, which was completed this morning, Iron. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, I did a run of Shield. I don't know if the I don't think if there's any video of it, but I did a Shield a run of Shield. Um, any percent with oh there there we go. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was prepared. With, I was prepared. It was any percent, but I what I did is I. Played, I started the run like, kind of like doing the DLC uh, Isle of Armor, uh, got Urshifu as normal, and then just picked off and carried on with the run with Urshifu. So um, I kind of just read it this for fun. The guy who ran this marathon kind of came to me in my chat. He's like, hey, do you do marathons? Looking, I kind of looking for a five and a half hour run. So I'm like, oh, this might be five and a half hours. I'll, I'll finish routing this and and, uh, and uh, run this at your marathon. So um the run was kind of, it was okay, I guess. Uh, quite a lot of deaths. I haven't played Shield in like a month because of BDSP. Maybe not a month, but a few weeks. Uh, so it was a bit rusty. Um, and uh, just finished a little bit overestimate, but uh, not too bad overall. Um, so yeah, Urshifu is just really good for getting through the game. It's a super strong poke. Uh, really good typing as well. I did route the other Urshifu version, the Rapid Strike. Which is water fighting. This one's dark fighting. The water fighting one's not as good. Um, doesn't match up as well, but uh, still a pretty cool uh, thing to do. I don't know if I'll be playing this category again. It's a bit long for me. This might have been good for really, really long a thon. <laughs> Perhaps, I don't know. But uh, it was fun. Other than the fact that I had to get up at 2 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds rough. But, uh,. There was also a technical issue, wasn't there? Oh, it seemingly it seemed like it split up at some point. The VOD when I was looking to find. Yeah, it. I think my I think my internet went for like uh, five seconds. All oh, right. Yeah. It's just one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Not being too serious. Yeah, but here is... I Dynamax because I kind oh. of wasn't sure what was going to happen because I got my attack dropped, <laughs> so I just did that to be safe. Yeah. We try to avoid that in speed runs because it's slow. Yeah, it is. It's so slow, but actually, I guess what? Well, yeah, because ideally you you want to use three X items if you can instead of Dynamax and Riot Kit. I think that's faster. Yeah, three is typically yeah, what I. If you get up to four, then that's when it's worth. Usually, it depends yeah. on stuff. Like some of them are a little bit awkward because it's like if I use Max Flare, then it sets up Sun, and if the fight goes long enough, the Sun goes away, and the extra calculations yeah. like that, but. General rule of thumb I use is three. Fair, fair. Yeah, cool. That is that is all the marathon rooms for this month. But the ones coming up next month. I'm gonna start off with uh Marathon's actually gonna be in uh, I should not have tried to figure out how many hours. Uh nine hours the run's gonna be, I believe. Uh Conception SR with Pearl Aim percent Manipulus. Uh scroll down to the right place. Uh, it's somewhere in there. Yeah, there it is. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pearl Aim Percent Manipulus is going to be on uh, well, in 9 hours at around uh, 20 to 6 UK time. So, I guess just coming up to 20 to 1 in the morning, uh, Eastern. That's how time works, I think. So, that is the first one. Then we've got... Uh, PSRD Snow Warning, uh, everything's Pokemon, so I'm not going to go into specifics, but Etiquette, which ones are you in? I believe you're on um, Yeah, I will actually be racing uh, T-Pat um, 
to close out the marathon. So that's going to be in uh, Brilliant Diamond versus Shining Pearl Race. Cool. Uh, have you been playing different versions? You know. Um, I've only been doing Shining Pearl right now. Um, uh, I, I want to do Brilliant Diamond, but I just I want to get a good time in Shining Pearl first, and I just haven't had the time. Yeah. Fair. fair. Then we have Midwest Mini Fest. Uh, once again, we have uh, Conception doing Bell and St. Minneapolis uh, on the 12th of uh, yeah, 12th of December at uh, 25 to 5 in the morning for me. So, probably going to be missing that one. But then we also have uh, Shifty just uh, later on in the day with Pokemon Red, any percent glitch is blindfolded. And that's going to be at just after 10 past 10 in the evening. So that's actually a very good time. I might might catch that one uh, like if I can if I have the time. Uh, then we also have no holidays allowed. Oh, this is a a bold color choice. Uh, <laughs> let's see, sixteenth of December at twenty two ten. Uh, we have Vandio doing gold any percent glitchless. Yes, gold any percent glitchless. Then we have on the 18th of December, at just after midnight, uh, we have Pokemon Crystal key item randomized race between Head Bob and Van, uh, Head Bob and Vandio. Then Iron uh, later in the day, we're going to be doing Tower, Tower of Two Fists get a, uh, Tower of Two Fists get a Shifu, the Pokemon Shield, and you put my teeth in. And then last but not least, there's Major on the 19th with. Uh, Diamond or Pearl, any percent uh, manipulus with um, at 10 to 3 in the morning. So, once again, another late run for people in the EU, but perfect time for uh, anyone in the US or Australia, I guess, as well. Quite a few, like, there's quite a few marathons for December. Is, it, is December normally a busy month for marathons? It can uh... be. Yeah. A lot I of guess people... oh, sorry, go on. Well, I was just gonna say a lot of people like to avoid like the big marathons, and so with GDQ in January, you probably see a lot of people trying to rush it before January, and then you'll probably see a lot of people do it like right after. So the end of January or like the beginning of February might be big for marathons as well. Yeah, because well, I well, I know ESA winters. That's like the twelfth of February to like then. 19th I think so yeah I guess in the middle of the gap there's probably going to be a fair few isn't there or you maybe expect a fair few uh but anyway this is like for green gaming fest this is also on the 18th of December actually this run at half six in the evening Razor Flame Kun go past it uh Razor Flame Kun with puzzle challenge intense so that's going to be a very difficult run to do and then, last but not uh, last but not least, RT in Japan um, on the twenty seventh of December. So, uh, trying to find the time. It's at twenty five past one. Uh, twenty five to two even. Sorry, uh, in the in the afternoon for me, it's going to be Kara versus Kojio in New Snap Any Percent. And then, I think straight afterwards, it's Rinchan DX with Crystal Any Percent Glitchless. So if you're a fan of watching Japanese runs, then got a couple of marathon runs coming up to watch. Uh, this was like really big last time though. I mean, like Japan, like ja uh, Japanese marathons or like Japanese restreams, they do really well. But, like, and it's still mind blowing to me how well, even though it probably shouldn't be, because like Japan, like Japan and gaming, Japan speed running, it does like pretty big. Well. They relatively feel like as niche as speedrunning is, I guess. They have like a massive turnout for like their events and stuff. I think. I think did you did you mention this? Because I feel like I've talked about this last month as well. I feel like, uh, you just said that you said because there's less marathons maybe in between. And if that was your point, or if it was someone else's point. No, for sure, but it wouldn't surprise me because like. GDQ was kind of the same way. Um, obviously with things online, 
it's getting a little bit less viewership than normal just because of the you know the novelty of the event is sort of a little bit different but i mean gdq's back when they were the only real marathon used to pull like 150 200 000 viewers sometimes mm -hmm. um and it's you know they're usually closer to like 80 or 100 000 now so it's it's probably just like the saturation of well the lack of saturation of the market yeah i imagine maybe once i get like once there's also more in-person marathons i feel like they'll probably get a bit more of a viewership oh absolutely. maybe not like yeah just to like see everyone Justin makes me interested to see how ESE will do then because that's that's gonna be the first european one or like big european one that's gonna be in person at least for like for a good while but yeah that is all the marathons that are coming up coming up over the next month or in, up until the next podcast uh just a cool thing, our Gold Soul Silver Minute Plus tournament has been going on. Uh, I don't actually know where this is at, I probably should have done my research a bit more. But, I do know that this this one's clearly been done, because it's past that time now. A fair few runs tomorrow, actually. Um, I think that run's still going. Oh, is it still Oh yeah, this is Yeah, I was time. about to say, I think it's still yeah, going. It, it's, it's glitchless Minute Plus, so, so it's... Under just under four hours. Okay. Yeah, Wor Worcester's in that race. He's live right now, so I assume he's still going. Okay. Yeah. Fair. That's just. I I, one, I saw one two p.m. I saw two p.m. I just assume everything's in UK time, because that's how I have everything for the marathon, but not for the marathon for the podcast. But nope. EST. Oh yeah. yeah. If you want to yeah. go to Speed Gaming Two, I think that's yeah. where the current one is. Yep. Actually, you know what? Can see who's winning. Quick nosy. Yeah, let's have a just quick nosy. How, <laughs> how, how are they doing? <laughs> um, okay. I don't remember how Gold Soul Silver. It's been so long since I played this. I which bits which? <laughs> like how? Watching, who's winning? <laughs> I'm watching an ad. One one sec. Um, Chat, please tell me who's winning. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm going to assume Jimmy's behind Worcester because I'm. Pr I imagine the no Jimmy's in Canto. Yeah, but no, behind Worcester, because Worcester's... Oh, wait. Never no, mind. But Worcester's going to be... I was thinking that was an Erica sprite, but it's... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking, because I know that... Well, I'm assuming that you've got to probably defeat the Kimono Girls to then, uh, to then get the ho -Oh. Yeah, I think worse. I think it's Worcester, Jimmy, uh, Rubentis, because the middle is just getting the Master Ball, which you would need for ho -Oh? I don't know. Uh, I don't recall if I, I actually gonna... it. I'm going to pretend yeah. I know this run, but I really don't. <laughs> so, though, good luck to good luck to everyone. And then also, because, look, well, there's uh, four races tomorrow. There's Tucker, Lime, Alwo. Then there's... Uh, it's Mendonator. Mendonator. That's probably how you say it. Uh, Poker Guy in the Badger. And the second one. Boons... Oh, God. Boonsy? Unchi? Sparkle Lantern and then Pixel Box in the third race and then All Star Rider Afonso uh, in Affected Ashes in the the fourth race for the day. So, so yeah, I mean it's it's a very busy day tomorrow. Got a, got a lot of content, a lot of content coming up. Yeah, again. I don't recall which round this is. I think this is round two, but I could be wrong. Uh. In the I mean, I don't. Oh, that's I, correct. Well, let's see earlier matches. Let's click that. Okay, this is. Yeah, Splendid's confirming in the chat. It is round two. Thank you, Splendid. Round two, right? Cool. Yeah, I don't recall how they're like um, eliminating people. Um, yeah. But just... uh, there was discussion. There was a. There, I am in that. I am in that Discord. The. Uh... DS the DS sword, one, but I'm not really yeah. following it, so they were discussing how they were going to do the different rounds. Hang on, here we go. Okay, so let's see. So, bracket. Okay, I guess in the next rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we are. Yeah, next rounds, like final. But there's also like a second chance bracket going on. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's only that's actually yeah. So yeah, it's only uh, three rounds, and then from the looks of it, whoever will win in the second chance bracket uh, will then go into like the second chance final, and then the winner of the second chance final will go into the final. Yeah, that's kind of like um, so I guess it's double elimination. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good format. I like I like it's good, Yeah, I like that. I like that format a lot, actually. I know for yeah. the Fire Red tournament, it was just uh, yeah, that was single elimination, yeah, wasn't it? You lose. You have need to be in a certain position in your race, a different depending on the round, or maybe you win. You have to win, or maybe it was based on time. I can't remember. It was different each round, but the double elimination is a nice little twist. Yeah, gives people and it gives people that extra chance if they just have like that, that the one off day. Uh, like a 10 minute magic harp. Oh, uh, yeah, because yeah, you're going to be like magic harp in this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so that is that that was just a, a cool thing to mention that is going on, and you can currently watch on Speed Gaming too. That race. Uh, yeah. So, last, last bit before we head out, we've got a leaderboard roundup. Um, I think. 15th for, like, because in Red Blue, so like, 15th for, oh, this name, uh, Vigi Magic, uh, Magic, <laughs> the, this is such a bad name for me to try and say every time I see it, uh -huh. but either way, with a 147.05, that's a very good time, uh, very good time, also with the Econ Sean in 27th with a 148.21, like, did they both... Come in for the tournament, or like maybe like what like came in just before, like started running it before the tournament. I think Maddox did. Maddox did. Um, pretty sure Maddox was in the tournament. Uh, I think, I think Maddox won the tournament, didn't didn't they? I, I'm thinking that too. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. want to. I didn't want to say it unless I knew for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I feel like we. I feel like that was said last podcast or the previous one that they won. Probably right. They also actually got third in uh, Glitchless Classic as well, sub 2, with a 159.55. So, like, doing really well in red currently. Uh, do, 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 do. There hasn't been as many runs, I assume partly because with B, or at least for early games, just so, like, when they, I might be wrong with this, people like to check out the new game, maybe do a run. Yeah. And then they'll decide after the fact whether they want to yep. keep doing it or uh, drop off. Chill out. Yo, there was a Pokemon pinball run. <laughs> Defeat Mewtwo, <laughs> Bluefield. Like, OG pinball. Like, that is a, that's a rare one to see. Uh, third place for Defeat Mewtwo, though, in the Bluefield on SG4E with a 18-13 time. Uh, do, 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 do. If anything stands out, uh, I guess you. I'm not even streaming this in the Discord, am I? So you're having to watch on stream. My bad. I just realized. That's <laughs> all good. Um, as I quickly try and figure something out. Uh, also ignoring uh, uh, etiquette's all for it. I just missed the pink because I was too busy. <laughs> I am such a bad host. <laughs> Nah, it, it wasn't too bad. Oh, by the way, it is now in the Discord if you want to go and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Just so we can be like in... Less yeah, a bit closer. There's always something I forget. I was so only with tweeting it out, putting it in the Discord, for like saying that the podcast was live. There's always one thing. <laughs> just how it is. But anyway, uh, Vandio in fifth with uh, Pokemon Gold. A three fifteen fifteen. Uh, do do do. Uh, Ridescon in second with no snacks in English. Three thirty seven fifty two. Um. Seventh for main nine seven nine with a two o two twenty one for fire red leaf green, eight percent English console. 
And then just behind in ninth, we have Kurt with a 2.0303. On emulator, we have Bang Yong Guk uh, with a 2.0550. Elite for round two on console. Third for uh, the Math Genius with a 3.3227. Uh, that's actually very good. Uh, that's that's only like a few seconds behind Shiru. Happening to only know that because we looked at the leaderboard earlier. Yeah, it's the same minute at least. <laughs> yeah, it is the same minute. Yep. Uh, then in sixth though we've got Mac Wing with a three thirty four fourteen, and then Wave with a three thirty four thirty two, and then I don't know with the world record as well in the emulator, as mentioned earlier. Um, nineteenth for Falcon Emerald. Uh, any percent uh, any percent glitchless English console third jester with a two forty two thirty five, and uh, Gale of Darkness in eighth is Iron Warrior two 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 with a four thirty three thirty eight, and then in third we have the third, I believe it's the third, uh, sub two minute run, for Battle CD RTA English Metronome from the fourth gen gamer, which if you're not familiar with uh. Gale of Darkness or Pokemon XD. Um, you can get battle CDs, which um, are basically like puzzles, like the, like the puzzles that you got to do within like a certain amount of turns or to a certain criteria. And so for the metronome one, you can only use the move metronome. And it's um, you're a Togepi and a Cleffer, and you're facing a Geodude and a Machop. So you're kind of just hoping to get two moves that'll hit <laughs> that'll hit and take them out the world record is like one minute and two seconds <laughs> it's like ridiculous like the perfect run uh do 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 welcome mystery dungeon red blue rescue team uh got fourth place in any percent no quick save no window mail japanese wii u for ponzu with a 221 10 and then just shortly behind in sixth we got Pi with a 22319. Uh for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, 80% glitchless English on uh DS or 3DS. It is Primal, uh, Primal Pizza with a 35321. Uh Swift Alu for any in English in 12 with a 10115. And then in third on the emulator board there's Robert 40 with a 103.9 uh, there's the help fit life one health rune mentioned earlier um but for explorers of sky um machu midori, uh, machu midori with beat dark right beat dark right no wonder mail english emulator with a 10 hours 12 minutes and 48 second run uh, apparently the first ever world record so congratulations um Pokemon Mystery Dungeon WiiWare, um, which I believe this is like a Japanese only release. In fact, I think I'm just better showing this. But world record for secure account with a 10857 uh, for any percent. And then for any percent with password, there's a 10308 from Like a Noob. But. It's just basically like Mystery Dungeon, but I guess it has Pokemon Rumble looking sprites, not sprites, models. I guess you'd say models for a 3D thing. It's um, it's something. Again, like I think it's Japanese. It's like Japanese exclusive, but there is like a patched. It's like a patch language uh, that you can do, so like everyone, people can play in English, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. It's just what it's just one of those things. It's like very very niche. Well, it's actually I think there's like that like two of those runs from like the last few weeks. Ah, uh, like yeah, yeah. That makes up like half a leaderboard. As I say, there's like 10 total runs, it looks like, on the side. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With uh, SLC having the stats. 
also shout out to SLC with the new uh with a new layout having a little bit of the thing hanging over. Because they refuse to use this all this side space <laughs> that's available freely. Well actually, okay. This probably adds uh a block it gets rid of them, but let's just ignore that for a second. Um Moving on. Uh our gold soul silver. A uh, A Pyrjo with a percent glitchless uh in Japanese with a three fifty seven eleven and also glitchless to lands in fifth with a two fifty one thirty one. Uh, uh Poker Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure true one hundred percent fourth place for Dust Gambler with a 955.36.021 um, Conquest we mentioned earlier uh, Emulator World Record for Challenge Mode or by Prab or by, by Prabs with a 325.39 and then also second place for them in Emulator uh, and any percent on Emulator with a 321.26 uh, Gates of Infinity we already mentioned. Uh, Pokemon XY, Headbob in 5th with a 342.06. Um, that's only uh, 50 seconds, like around 50 seconds behind Wartab. How close is the top of that leaderboard then? Like, it's very close and there's even a run that's not on the leaderboard. Oh wait, is that... Um... What do you yeah. call it? It's within a minute, top six, oh. top five. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't, I'm assuming Lunax is not coming back anytime soon, but yeah, anyone, well, if anyone of them wants it to. Yeah, for sure. Things will be getting exciting. <laughs> um. I'm just gonna point out with well, I mean it's very good run by me with a 30808 in sixth place for Alpha Sapphire, but again, just the comment. The comment <laughs> stands out. May always has something. Huh. What would you do if someone is chat? Okay. I guess something went wrong in the run. <laughs> I'm gonna guess something bad happened. Um The because uh, we already mentioned Super Mystery Dungeon uh, from Halp. But for Let's Go Pichu, 6th place for Katniss with a 30404. Um, yeah, like, Katniss picked up Pikachu fairly recently. They did Eevee a lot, but... Yeah. Picked up uh, Pika. I think that's actually... I mean, it's made a lot of, I think that's better than Eevee, PB. Yeah, it's about... Yeah, yeah 40, 40 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Uh, another... Another reason why people should run Pika instead of Eevee. Not even any argu uh, argument from Etiquette because that is a correct statement <laughs> that I just said. And then also all the attainable Pokemon from Canon News 53. Uh, let's see. So Ringo with a. F 405 12 for 1.0. Is that? I mean, I'm going to assume it was definitely a 1.0 room, but. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, you just don't normally see yeah. runs to that, <laughs> to that version because that version is not available anymore. Oh, yeah, I just. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's weird. I, I assume it, like, it's attacking new. What are we doing? Did Ringo get a time on English that was really good too? I don't see it there. Unless it's further down. Uh, there's something being looked at with it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, but we asked, we did mention it last month because it was it was last month that uh, or before in the last like it, it was covered by last month's podcast. Yeah. But there's just something being looked into it. Um, iron. Four fourteen thirty five. I guess you got yeah. like sniped by Mantai. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty epic. I got the the uh, the water bike. I jumped on the bike, jumped in the water, and immediately got hit by a man time, like within half a second. 
Like, no Ugh. chance. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember exactly how well that run went, but it was pretty solid. I, I pretty much wanted to hit sub 415 for BDSP, so I was pretty happy to get that. Yeah, it's an impressive time. Like, because, like, Candy Force roots, it's not like Sword where Candy Force might be better for that route now, or for that, uh, for that game. I think it's still a bit worse. But it's definitely still a lot more consistent. And you're yeah, not having to rely that's the on. Reason why I was running it. Yeah. I tried Arca Drill and I just yeah, the inconsistency was too much. Like if I was grinding it longer, I would have I would have kept at it, but the, the amount of time I was planning to play, I just mm -hmm. decided to stick with Candy Floss. Oh yeah, but fully respect that. Like if you just wanted to you just wanted to if you just want to have the feeling of actually get knowing that you can get a run done without too many things yeah. potentially going wrong. And force is the way to go. Um, any percent shield Japanese 1.2.0 plus uh, by Ino Ino is a 42104. I believe there is a Japanese time for pre 1.2 that's like a 410, but it doesn't have a video. So I think this actually might be the with the video proof, this might be the fastest shield run. Which is cool. For Jap life for Japanese. A lot of the Japanese runs just went straight to sword. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you just look at if you look at the uh any percent sort of Japanese submissions just for the past month, I guess. Probably shouldn't have skipped over them because like there's actually like third place for Poke uh Poke Hochan with a four ten oh two, fourth for Seiyu Color. The four ten fifty one in Oino with a four twelve, seventh for Yuki Sai with a four twelve thirty one, eighth for Gonzi with a four twelve forty nine. All those like all those from third to tenth, uh, pretty yeah, close. There's a few candy flosses in there too, which is really solid. I wouldn't be surprised if all of them are candy floss. Um, I mean, I can. I guess that's Candy Force. Uh, <laughs> the one thing, Candy Force, yep, the one good is. thing with Japanese runs, they always have like thumbnails with Whimsy Boy <laughs> in it. Yep. Like they always do. <laughs> you know, every like you don't have to click on the video, even. It's always there. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's too good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, I don't know if I just clicked this one. I did just click that one. And then last but not least, but yeah. I think, like, in, like especially like for the Japanese runners, they just go to the Candy Force now. And, like, Ringo did his run with Candy Force as well. Yep. So, it's just one of those things. Um, any percent with DLC for Swords, uh, Su uh, Sukisai with a 405.23, uh, and then fourth, and then for... Oh, that was in English. Okay, that was in English. And then for Japanese, uh, third place for Sukisai with a 403.37. And then fourth, just behind you, uh, Yoshida Shu with a four hundred three fifty. Um, I don't remember. Like, I think the point was raised that it's most likely just a case of the Japanese runners wanting to get like ready and warmed up for BDSP, which was why they were doing a lot of sword runs. But I mean, this one was even after the fact. But at least cool that to see some of them were still playing. Yeah, Sayu Color as well. That was uh, after B. Actually, all wait. Did they come out nineteenth. Yep. Okay, I was gonna say all of them, but never mind. Only <laughs> uh, all of them just finished after BSP. Uh, like did the last run off. Got those PBs just before BSP came out. So I imagine all of them's actually yeah, they all switched over. Um, and then so yeah, for BSP. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do you want, shall we just go over the world record, like the different game versions? Like, I guess we talk about the different routes that are kind of dominated yeah. or starting start to take hold now, because these these runs are going to probably be beaten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the coming month. yeah. Like you'd like to hope. <laughs> so like. Yeah, they, they uh -huh. definitely should be. Um. Well, so oh, unless unless it's any percent. Yeah, any percent is <laughs> a little bit of a different beast, but um. But yeah, so Glitchless Signing Pearl, um, the primary route for that is... Oh. Uh, 
off to out. beat Rourke. Um, yeah, so you start with Chimchar, use Machop to beat Rourke, um, and then you use that Machop to do the in-game trade for Abra, um, the Abra nicknamed Kaza. And then you basically keep using Chimchar until you beat Gardenia, you beat Jupiter, um, and then you switch over to the Kadabra, um, and then use Kadabra for the majority of the rest of the game, um, right up until like Victory Road Elite Four, where you switch to Palkia, um, the box legendary, and you use Palkia for the Elite Four. So um, it's a really cool route. It has one of the worst, in my opinion, um, things to have to worry about, which is getting too yeah. <laughs> much experience. Um, the game doesn't take after its more recent you know entries to the series when it comes to things like um pokemon obedience instead it takes from the originals so you only have up until level 10 before you beat gardenia and then you have up to level 30 before you beat wake so the abra is quite literally unusable until you get the second badge and you have to do a lot of work to make sure you don't accidentally over level um right before you beat wake and like the experience is with other thresholds you want to hit for like damage output reasons you have a window of something like 79 experience and if you're not within that window then you will either under level for wake's first pokemon or over level for wake's last pokemon like it's that tight it's ridiculous um but yeah so this is sort of the primary um, Shining Pearl route at the moment. Uh, there are some other variations. I know uh, starting with Piplup was used for a bit, and I think some people are still experimenting with that. Um, there was like a, yeah, it was like Piplup and Staravia. Um, but I mean, that's GY, isn't it? Still doing that, right? I think. I was looking at that a bit. Um, uh, yeah, but you have to catch something extra, and so it's really nice because you use that you catch the Machop, which you use to help you beat Rourke, and then you trade it for the next thing. You're, well, the thing you're going to use later, which is just really, really convenient. Mm. Uh, and then, yeah, you have to catch the Piplup route. You kind of it's kind of like what Worcester did for his first playthrough. It was kind of one of the one of the first people to kind of do a speed run of the game. You pretty much just catch a Starly, use that. Um, it evolves a couple times because using Staraptor is nice to have for Cyrus too. Um, uh, to knock out some of his other pokes, you can kind of. There's lots of different ways to do the last few fights um, in on the Spirit Pillar, but um, the Chimchar route looks just looks so much more clean um, in terms of just the amount of pokes you have to use and, and switching around. With the Piplup route I was looking at right now, there's at one point before Veilstone, I'm using all three of them. Um, <laughs> at various points, which is just a massive mess. Like for the for the fight with the Bronzor and the Shield, and I'm using using Prinplup. I'm using Kaza for the fight with the Gyarados, and I'm using Staravia for. I think for nah, maybe not the other fight before the Gyarados, but the rival two fight, I'm using all three of them. <laughs> like I'm switching back and forth between them. It's it's so much slower, so. It's looking like Chimchur is the best one. Yeah, I know like Ward had really proud of some of the sections of the route. Like obviously the like, one being getting like like not being over levels and not being under level for weight. Isn't yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. But then also like in the later section, he switches to he switches from set mode to is it switch mode? Yep. For weight, yeah. 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 So, like he'll switch to that. I'll like, switch the switch mode, but then have like one phone of fainted so he doesn't lose that any times. But for the one fight, I think it's Byron. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for Byron, uh, he can then switch easier and it saves time there. Yeah, because one of the things, so the with the wake fight, uh, so the wake fight is just so stupid. So you can't set up on the Gyarados. Fifteen and sixteen range. If you use the two calciums, you can pick up. Um, so that's not obviously guaranteed, but it's good enough. Um, the second thing is 
the float soul at the end can one shot you and outspeeds you. So you want to do something to set up in order to, you know, be able to kill the float soul before it kills you. So what you would want to do is like set up on Gyarados, but Gyarados has crunch, which can kill you and drop your defense, even if you set up X defense. So like, that's not a good option. You can set up on the Quagsire, but Quagsire has two main problems. Um, the first problem is it has Rain Dance, which will, um, if it sets up Rain Dance, even if you use an X speed, the Floatzel will be faster than you because of Swift Swim. So you can't really do that. And then even if you were to get away with no, um, no Rain Dance, then the Quagsire also has Haze. And so Haze is... Um, you know, preventing you from setting up even more X items because you, you know, you lose all your boosts. So uh, the the primary way to do the fight right now is set up switch, uh, go into the wake fight, KO the Gyarados turn one, turn two, or after Gyarados dies, switch to Monferno. Monferno uses taunt against the Quagsire and hopefully dies that turn. Um, and then once that happens, you can go in, use an X speed, um, and not have to worry about Rain Dance or Haze, and then you can just sort of sweep from there. But it's it's like a very technical fight, and combined with the experience routing, it's just a nightmare. Um, and then, yeah, you want Switch for Byron as well, because this game has, like, maybe, like, I don't know seven or eight pokemon that either have a focus sash or sturdy um and so you use that to break sturdy on a pokemon that would otherwise one shot you so you can then um get rid of that and then you know move on with the fight so it's it's really cool routing um there was a recent change that involved like doing a section of the run actually earlier than normal um which works out better for experience and candy routing but it's still still improving we're still making improvements like every day oh uh, yeah like the game's been out two weeks yeah exactly yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll also put cyan of his misery and uh close that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's so like cyan is actually you know what things might change in the last four hours since i kicked this off so let's actually see all my different Tabs to go through there. Uh, okay, so it's still according to SRC it is still sound uh, with the will yep. will trickle there. I just realized I had the, I had it there. I kind of had it there. Let's just close that. Um but yeah. Diane's currently still with the no turbo world record. And then for Brilliant Diamond, Ed Bob has the uh Brilliant Diamond world record on English. Which I believe this is also Okay, no, actually, it's using it's using Scytheru. Okay, so uh, this is made by May and Etchy, um, uh, and it's like basically because we're forced to go into the underground at some point, like in Eterna City, like they take like they use that to take advantage to try to get like a Pokemon that's well, they don't get one that's a higher level than you because the catching mechanics is awful. So you could catch it, but it'd be a pain. Why would you do that when you can get some that's lower level and you can easily catch it? Um, but they catch Scyther. Scyther is the primary Pokemon because it has, it has the ability Technician, which if it's like it's, is it sixty like sixty max? Like, uh, sixty power or lower, yeah. Yeah, sixty power or lower. It'll boost the move by. 50% so effectively you've got Scyther with wing attack, wing attack 60 conveniently. That officially goes up to 90 and then when you add um, like same type of attack boost attack. that takes it to 108 base power effectively. So it's, you use a lot of wing attack throughout the run. Uh, also with the uh, with the print up you'll try and kill either a Badoo or a Geodude. In the underground just so you can get to level 18 so you've got another level that you can catch the scyther with because it can spawn between level 16 and level 20 so if you see a level 19 or 21 you can try catching it it's just going to be a bit more painful um but 
Yeah, you start you starting with Primplot because it's quicker through the rock section. Uh, and assuming as long as you don't get headbutted a million times, uh, you're gonna get through pretty easily. It's it's Mar no yeah Mars is the kind of the difficult fight, which I think it's a difficult fight in any route to be fair, but like that the Perugal is just mean. I think but, for Monferno it's a bit easier because you you can get. Luckily, Chimter evolves earlier than the other two starters, so you at least get the fighting type uh, for the Perugly. But it's still that thing still hits pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. With with the current route, it's a little bit more difficult than it was. Um, we actually have to fight in a, like an optional in order to actually get Monferno in time. If you don't use Monferno, that fight's very hard. But you're like a fight away, so it's it's usually worth just doing that. You save the time. Uh. But yeah, they, they, like this uses Scyther pretty much the entire time, except for against Byron, where you use it all like the Byron gym. You typically like you'll be using uh, Empoleon at that point, and there's also like a. I think it's still a print flop actually, but I could be wrong. Uh, should be Empoleon. Uh, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah. Either way, print flop Empoleon, they... yeah. something that can use Surf. <laughs> it can use Surf. And that's... Yeah, and I believe they also put Stealth Rock on it to get rid of the Sturdy. But yeah. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, yeah. Stealth Rock's used to get rid of the Sturdy. And you also teach Stealth Rock to Dialga to get rid of um, Stealthy. Get rid of Stealthy. Get rid of the um, stuff like Focus Sash and stuff. I'll take the cool. effect of it away. Oh, yeah. Like the Elite Four. Um, but, yeah. Really interesting route. It's just a shame that you've got to rely on. Well, I think is every time you enter a room, I calculated it to something. Dumb. It's something like twelve percent for total twelve percent each time you enter the room. You can go in and out of a room pretty quickly, so it's not too bad in that aspect. But um, something like twelve percent to get a runable cipher. Um, it's definitely worth it to run around the room, by the way. This is a heads up. Um, it's really cool you can get net balls really early too, so that those yeah are the catch rate. Yeah, and, and if you use rock to you're most likely going to be getting it in every like catching it most times. Like the the catching for once the catch isn't the worry. <laughs> it's just the uh, the actual getting to it. Also, it can hit hard. Because if it's technician, it can hit hard. Because mm. it will it will hit you first before you get to use charm to reduce the di the damage output. But yeah, those are the the quickest times for no. Actually, your sign has just straight up the quickest time on SLC. Yeah. Um, unless there's something in submissions that I don't know. And then Etchy's got the quickest, brilliant, uh, brilliant diamond time, and that's with Turbo. Um, there's not just like set on like, like well, quite early on, like a week into the run. I think there's been some optimizations to the route since then with like the Dialga section, or like the Elite Four section. I uh, think I think Shenanigans actually got a good time too recently. Maybe not up there yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I like, saw it on YouTube, but yeah, it may have just been, it may have just been like in the last couple hours. <laughs> yeah, I I, again, it's just least. such an active game at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Ringo, Ringo has the best time, um, with a three twenty one. Yeah, three twenty one. Three twenty one. The Kazu route. Yeah, with Kazu route on Shining Pearl, uh, yeah. on one point one point not. Oh, is it one point? Yes. No. No, it's one point one point oh. Okay, which turns out is quicker than one point one point one. According, like seemingly, at least from video comparisons. Yeah, and it's one of those things. It's like impossible for us to truly compare because you can't actually get that anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, but that that is yeah that is the quickest time, um, in English. I think actually, I think it's. I don't think there's a quicker time in Japanese either. 
at the moment. I haven't seen any of the Japanese runs yet for Glitches. Yeah. No. Either way, though. But yeah, that's for uh, any percent Glitches. And then for any percent. Oh, boy, any percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, any percent. Uh... Um, I can talk a little bit about this if we want. Um, so you're, you're going to talk about sandwiches here, or <laughs> yeah. So it's worth mentioning the the games have broken. It, to put it into perspective, um, what you're seeing here is the Wednesday route, as it was named. Um, like it was literally stuff was changing literally every day. Things were found, new glitches were found. Um, the way the run currently looks, uh, is. Uh, you just cut out a um, bit. Is it uh... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you get, you get your starter, you beat Starly, um, in that first little fight. And then you, uh, perform a glitch called menu storage, which allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's sort of what you're seeing here. You're like moving with the menu up, um, there are some implications of that I won't get into, but basically you the the way that you're able to like go around without anything noticing you is you have to interrupt an event. Um, so the the first one that you'll see in the run is you enter a door and while you're entering the door, you close a menu. so it interrupts the event. And while that event is still going and hasn't finished, nothing will interact with you. You won't get encounters. No one can talk to you. You can't talk to anybody. Um, you can't enter load zones or anything like that. So you skip over into Jubilife. Uh, while you're in Jubilife, you get yourself the old rod. Uh, you basically get the old rod because it's a key item that you can assign to the like the plus button. Um, you do a bunch of other stuff to get yourself out of bounds. And what you're seeing now on the screen is the long trek from Route 202 all the way to the Pokemon League. Um, there's a... It's not very precise, but it's very uh, dark. You can't see. So it, it's a pretty difficult path to take. Um, once you make it to the Elite Four, uh, you have to do a skip in order to skip past Barry. Um, you basically trigger the event for the like escalator in the... You've got out again, by the way. ...and the load zone. And then when you reload the game, you just trigger the load zone so you get past barry um and then if you skip ahead to like one of the elite four members it's one of the most bizarre things i think i've ever seen in a run so uh this is actually getting into the elite four now it wasn't just all darkness <laughs> um but yeah so once you're actually in an elite four room you can um store the event quote unquote of you getting like pushed forward because when you enter an elite four room um you get pushed forward and the door behind you closes and so what you do is you trick the game into not starting that event and then after you close that menu it pushes you forward which pushes you through the wall into the next loading zone so you basically are using that initial push in each room to push you through the wall to the next elite four member um and then the the final one for for cynthia is more or less you like cancel the cutscene, and you can just start running around while you're in the cutscene, uh and you can just you know walk to the elevator <laughs> basically while the the intro cutscene is starting for cynthia and yeah so uh this is i think this is jim freak's run um Jim Freak actually has a tutorial if you want to do this. And I I quite literally learned this run this morning. Uh, that's how good the tutorial is. I have like a 22. So um, I definitely recommend that if you're interested. If you're interested and still have access, unfortunately, the glitches here, um, most of them have been patched out already as of, I think it was like Wednesday night, a patch came along that patched everything out or maybe it was thursday night but um if you haven't updated yet you can still do this and if you have updated uh, i don't know what the status is but people are working on some sort of glitched route because there still are glitches it's just not the same glitches it'll be a lot longer though it won't be 16 minutes it'll be like maybe two hours or something 
Yeah. Uh, do you happen to have the, the link, by the way, to uh, Dampers? The tutorial? Yeah, the tutorial. Uh, yeah, let me find that real quick. Yeah. I mean, you just put it in chat. I, I didn't yeah. grab I couldn't find it quickly when I was looking through the Discord because pretty active at the moment. There's a lot of people talking. <laughs> That's the lost. other thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it's like, oh, I got you. I was going to say, because because i am i'm technically the the owner of the discord um i can get the server insights and the discord has quite literally tripled in size since the release of the games a lot of people yeah the record right now is is sub 16 it's 1550 it's just not in the leaderboards yet which is yeah. Just uh, ridiculous. Is it? It's Japanese runner. I I feel like it's Caro, but I'm not I sure. I think you're right, but I'm not positive. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Caro because Caro is a very very good runner. <laughs> um, but yeah, is a uh, is sub sixteen now, which is crazy. I I don't know if they think sub fifteen is possible. I've I've not really kept too much with any percent. Yeah, probably not with this route. Um, just because, like, you have to do so much non glitch stuff at the start, and then it's very precise to set up the out of bounds. So, like, uh, but you, just, you cut out again, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think you can cut, you can save 50 seconds with, like, this exact route, most likely, but, um, you know, there might be a faster way to do something that gets found and cuts the times down. Like, even though yeah. even though the game's been patched, people are still looking for new stuff, so who knows? Yeah, there's definitely a... It, it's because there's, like, this is the first time there's, like, been such... A, I don't want to say broken game or, like, a broken run. I mean, well, it's it, a very broken run. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the first time since Gen Four that we like have glitches that help in a speed run. Like, and Gen Four was thirteen years ago, fifteen years ago. What was it? So, I mean, yeah. this is is super exciting. Yeah, it catches a lot of people's attention, and like with all speed runs and. And the articles made about it's made people very angry that aren't speedrunners, but who cares? Oh, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's uh, cool. I also like how Josh's four hours 50, 53 is there because we've not technically, like, well, like the, all the uh, specific kind of are they glitches, are they not glitches, haven't been decided yet. Yeah. But. I mean, at the very least, seeing that the slow glitch was done in that room, that's definitely not. That that wouldn't be allowed in any percent. Uh, any percent glitchless. I mean, it's, that that actually got patched out, anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, true, that did. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's not in there anymore. Um, but yeah, the stuff for the lead was still being decided, which. Cause like, what stuff is there still actually to decide? Because there's still like, what what specifically is a lot of thirty percent glitchless? I know that's the thing. Yeah, that's it's... the main thing that's still um, out there. Something we didn't actually mention, um, but if you look at any of the runs, you will notice is uh, you can turn off the background music and it speeds up the game because different like item jingles and stuff don't happen. So um, that was something that isn't. Like we've already voted on and we're okay with, but that was sort of a point of contention at one point. Um, but yeah, I think the the biggest things right now are what's allowed in glitchless. Um, specifically, there's a couple of trainers you can skip, and there are there's like a trick to get through Candace's puzzle quicker. Um, and what to do about basically what to do about the updates and patches. Like how exactly are we? You know, handling that for the leaderboard, obviously you can't have any percent with just 1.1 times because if a new runner comes in in like 
tomorrow and has already updated the game, they just wouldn't be able to compete. So there has to be some sort of split there. Um, all that kind of stuff is still being figured out. But yeah, primarily it's that what's allowed in Glitchless and what isn't. Which I, I feel like, like most people are on the same page about. It just hasn't gone through any sort of formal proposal process yet. Yeah. I also want yeah. to throw out there, let me run in Spanish. Yeah, the, the language is one as well. <laughs> um, that's still that, being discussed. That, that screenshot, Jordan, very nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've done a run in Spanish. I've done more runs in Spanish than I've done in English. I've only finished one run in Spanish, so which is not good. That's more just like I've not really done much in English because Scyther's... Scyther was mean to me a lot. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's still, still things being decided. Uh, but there's not anything that's actively being voted on right now, I don't think. That'll be in the no. next couple of days, I assume. Yep. Or whenever someone gets around to doing it yeah and actually the only other thing that um it's sort of dependent on what any percent looks like after the update um so we had the vote with the version split so brilliant diamond and shining pearl being separate um we had it for both glitchless and any percent the any percent vote did say most people wanted it combined rather than split but then the patch came and the run is going to look totally different. So that is something that might get revoted on. Um, probably yeah. will, depending on what the run looks like. But um, but that hasn't really happened yet. There hasn't, I haven't actually seen anybody doing any percent runs of the new patch yet. People are still sort of focused on the old patch for now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see kind of if you need a version exclusive or something for the new route that uh, that's yep. faster, potentially. And that well, we won't know that for a while. <laughs> also, I just thought a route that just there hasn't been mentioned just for glitchless. Uh, there's a is it like there's a magnemite or like magnezone route? That's, yeah, it's like it's not as competitive, but it can be done on both versions. Which I guess yeah, also has it can be done on both versions, but still, it's just an, another route that I've heard about that. Doesn't seem too bad from what I've heard. Yeah, it's you have to go into the underground like Scyther for Scyther. Yeah. Uh. It's an easier catch probably as well. I think it's got a better catch rate. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume it would. Scyther's not got a good catch rate. So, but I don't think it's as usable right away as Scyther is. It's the one disadvantage it has. Yeah. Because Magnemite's not very good. It's kind of slow and... Its special attack is good, but it when it gets becomes a magneton, it becomes significantly better. Yeah, I think, and that's everything with BDSP. Again, I will be talking about this. I imagine fairly a bit to come, or at least until next month, like for next month's podcast, and then who knows, we might get taken over by Legends Arceus at that point for February, but. We'll see. We will see. Um, when does that come out? Is that come out January or February? January twenty eighth. January twenty eighth. Yep. Yeah, we I might. Am... It might be kind of similar. We might we might not have much uh, to talk about for February, but yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it'll be like a few days at that point as well. Yep. So that'll be something. That, that that's... game looks to be very different than these games in terms of. We won't have. We won't. It's not. Gonna, it's not a remake. It's going to be a very different style of play. So. It might take yeah. a bit longer for things to get figured out. Catch me using the like sound to send a tree flying over the map. That's how the speed is <laughs> going to be. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, Pokemon Gold Silver S and Yes. Is this the? Is this a ROM hack thing or is this a? It is. Yeah, I'm not really familiar oh. with it. Um. It kind of looks like a Sonic like reskin almost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know too much about this one. Well, any percent both turtle speed with a world record with two minutes and fifty four seconds. They'll be done fast. Yeah, that's that's like literally today, I think. So. Yeah, that is today. Done today, verified today. Um, poker clicker, uh, poker clicker got a lot of runs submitted. Um. I believe, at least for like, because I believe, uh, 
think for like the uh, auto clicker stuff at the very least. Or just in general, I think Poker Clicker might be like the game of the month last month for the Frame Fatals Discord, I feel like May mentioned. I think. Or two yeah. months ago. Something like that. That sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah. Either way, there's been a lot of runs with it. Um like... I think this I think that Poker Clicker, if I recall correctly, is gonna be in the uh PSR diversity marathon as well. Yes, May will yes, be. Yes it is. Yeah. yeah. And once again, May has I'm assuming May submitted <laughs> these because the comments. I don't even know what that first one is. <laughs> I'll have to go read these later. Yeah, it's um Oh uh, that okay. Is that just meant to be a movie review that was done for the film Flick starring Adam Sandler? <laughs> Fair play. Fair play, me. Um Rumble Weekend Edition, RDA, uh Old Sages. World record, any percent normal world record, complete the game, any percent world record. Uh, Daddy and Rumble, two things go hand in hand perfectly, I was going to say. Uh, and then Pokemon Tournament DX, six uh, for Clado uh, Clay in Green League in 18 minutes, 25 seconds, 0 0.80, uh, 0 084. I can read, I think. Uh, and then all the character extensions. Custom Star and Magic Cup. Want to give a shout out to that. Sten up. 9 hours, 13 huh. minutes, 49. And I believe if it's Custom Starter and they say the Pokemon, that's the Pokemon that it goes up to. So I'm pretty sure it's a purely Magic Cup. No Gyarados. I should actually just check that. I can check that now. Go here. Is it still a Magic Cup? Oh, it's a cave. Okay, no, that's a guy. Really. Evolved it, yeah. Aww. Still though. Impressive. This is just to stick through with it. And then also a level 100 world record by Pink Panther. 34955. Uh Nit plus uh gold silver world record in 31817. Uh book catching contest world record uh, in 4206 by Anto uh, Antoi Melis? Antoi Melis? Oh, I tell By them. Um, I think. Because there's, there's, there's a like. They like custom stars it for Alligator Concert 30931. Level 100 for Crystal Ocean Bagel with a 430431. Uh, 8% Glitch is blindfolded. Uh, for Emerald, YRX with a 50130. Uh, old pokes, uh, old main pokes for Alligator Cruel with a 525.16. Jimmy with a world record in Battle Factory level 50 silver, <laughs> 4235. All silver prints Manipulus in 814.19 by E Junior. Um, uh, perhaps with the trade alt main scrafty black white world record with a 253. Um, all trainers on all three yes from cruel in 1148.31. That sounds like a nightmare. All <sighs> uh, DS as well, so it's even slower. Long game made longer. Yes. All respect to Cruel. Cruel's crazy, but not in all the best ways. Yep. Um, a million trade alt mains. <laughs> uh, the quickest one, quickest one there by uh by Amber with a three thirty five flat for trade alt main Darmin, uh Galarian da trade alt main Galarian Darmanitan. We put them in the other way around for some reason. Uh, but yeah. That's the that's the quickest trade on main time now. Oh, etiquette. Tower Tower of Two Fists, don't get Urshifu. But uh one fourteen thirty nine. 
I completely forgot I did that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a decent run. Um, I I didn't have like a, a really solid time in. I had like a one sixteen or something, but it was more mm. of like the proof of concept run. Yeah. Um, and then this, you know, just sort of sort of grinded it out a little bit before I um. I want to say I like took a week off or something before BDSP. So like this was one of the last things I did. Yeah, okay. it's all the time. I mean, well, it's just all the time, but I assume because like I know my time can be beaten by a good bit. I yeah. assume you've got that same feeling as well. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't honestly remember much about the run. Mm. Um, just looking at my splits real quick, it looks like I was behind at hop two. Actually, nice. I was I was behind for basically the entire run, and then saved a bunch of time on Clara too. So ah, <laughs> oh Clara too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually a bit more surprising. Oh, wait, I think I it was the the like handling of the slow pokes and the death warp and stuff. Oh right, you have all that in the same split. Yeah. Oh, okay, right, that makes more sense. Yep, and uh, then my my original PB I think saved before mustard and got crit. So I had, so this time I just didn't die to mustard. So I saved like another minute on that. Yeah, fair. And then Iron, the 116 in the same category. Do you remember your runs? I'm just looking over it now. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of behind coming into the Isle of Armor and then saved a lot of time on Avery 3 for some reason. I don't remember why. Um, not enough that it was a death that I i reloaded but it was just a faster fight and I, uh, the tower was extremely good hence my comment i got yeah. like knocked into torrent like super nice like i was at, when i think I went to the scraggy with really high hp and then he crit me right into torrent and then i healed on kubfu and i got kind of lucky before kubfu because he hit me into perfect torrent like exactly i think it was like 24 of 72 or something like that nice. so and then uh and finish that off. Uh, super fun category. I really like the uh, these if they go well. <laughs> Lots of good ways to die, especially uh, shield is particularly bad. Yeah, shield's not the nice way of running Avery's that category. Much <laughs> yeah. Uh, because we have the category such as brilliant diamond shining pill, crash percent, uh, thirty five <laughs> seconds uh, for Jim Freak. Yeah, the the game has a chance of crashing during the intro. <laughs> like Yeah. Oh, in the intro. <laughs> Literally yeah. in the intro. I do know how to force a crash. So I could get a time. It would be like hours long, but I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then reverse badge order for a uh, shortcut with a 2.323, which seems more like the proof of concept run because that's just the that's the first run done yeah and this is another thing that isn't going to be possible on 1.1.2 so any further developments will be on the old version mm. uh stadium kiss club uh old record silo simon with a 26.833 uh, mini game champion stadium two normal five tokens wink market market actually has a lot of them from the looks of it been putting a lot of time in minute to become a mini game champion and then the one Pokemon Rumble category extension run from Akiri collect them all living decks passwords six twenty eight fifty and that's the leaderboard roundup that is that's pretty much everything. For the uh, for the podcast, versus yep. any other things that I don't don't remember outside of the general outro stuff. No, I think uh, we did start podcast a little bit later today because we got kind of mixed up with the time change. It's, that kind of is offset, I guess, by a month, by a few weeks to Europe uh, compared to North America. So we should be back on at three p.m. Eastern time. I think that's eight p.m. UK time? Yeah, 8 p.m. UK. Uh, on the January the 8th, so not January 1st. Uh, we're going to give everybody a, a day off.
for that for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, we'll be back yeah. on the 8th. Yeah, back on the 8th. Uh, gonna put in. I give. That should be a command. Where did I go? Oh, I know what I did wrong. I can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast hosts. There we go. Be nice to give at least etiquette and iron a follow. Uh, as you head out. And then, other than that, is there anyone that's live? Uh, T Pat's doing runs. Uh, the race might still be going on. Uh, Zion's also live, actually. Current Shining Pearl SRC world record holder. Uh, there is also Ridescon if you want to not do BSP and go to Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, yeah, Ridescon as well. So actually, I think. Actually, probably should raise Ridescon. Because I think he's about to finish a run. He's close okay, to finish a run on PB pace. So let's. We'll head over there. That but, sounds like a good idea, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll see you back on January 8th, like I said. Have a good rest of your day, evening, wherever you are. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.